Okay, so first we have to go to the download section of the TI Inspire website. There'll be a link in the video description to take you right there, but if you want to follow along, you can type in the name of your calculator. So any TI calculator this guide will work for, by the way. I'm using the TI Inspire CX2 CAS, and I better type after it, student software. Now, if you're a teacher watching this video, still download the student software. It's very useful to have on your computer. So we're just gonna click this link here and go to the website. Okay, so the item I want is the EXE because I'm on a Windows at the moment. If you're on Mac, just make sure you click the DMG file for Macintosh. Uh, I'm gonna click this one here and it's going to ask me whether I wanna save it or open it. Uh, if you wanna save the download file for later, you can if you want, but I'm just gonna click open. And it's going to take a little bit of time to download that program and then once it's downloaded, we'll open it. Alrighty, so once your program is downloaded, it should automatically open if you clicked open. If you clicked save, just find where you saved it and double click that file and it will open. I'm gonna click open file here and click yes. And it's gonna bring up the installation screen. Now, if you're on uh, if you're on Mac, it's gonna be a slightly different system to install stuff. Uh, but if you've ever installed a program on Mac, it's exactly the same. You just drag and drop it into the applications folder and follow the prompts. For Windows users, uh, select your installation folder. Default is fine and click next. And it will go ahead and install it on your computer. And it will tell you that it's all done. We click the green tick to finish and it's gonna hopefully <laughs> automatically open. If not, I can show you how to open it. Okay, so to open up our software, I'm just gonna click the Windows key here on Windows. And if you hold control and hit spacebar on a Mac, it will bring up your spotlight finder. It's kind of the same thing. I'm gonna type TI, uh, well, here it is. It's the only thing that only program on my computer called TI. It should be the blue one. If you downloaded the red one and you've got a red icon, you've downloaded the wrong software, make sure you get the CAS student software. I think the red one is just the CX. So we're gonna open up the app here and you're faced with this screen here. And because it's our first time installing this program, um, we're gonna to have to activate our license. You can of course continue with the trial if you're just trialing it out to see what it's like. Uh, you can purchase a license as well, but I have my license number here on the slip that came with my calculator. So I'm gonna go ahead and just activate my license and click next. And so you just enter your license number here and click you accept the license agreement, click in next and it will check on their servers whether you've been activated correctly and I have indeed. So now we're gonna click next and it should just open up the software right in front of us. Okay, so the last thing is if it asks you to allow access to a couple of things, just click yes, it's okay to allow access to those things through your firewall. And here's your program here. Double click that top bar to open it full screen. Now quick setup uh, because this is the installation video, I'm gonna show you the absolute fundamentals. Probably you want the, uh, keypad here which is going to give you the keypad over here on the left and your output as the main thing on the right you can flip them if you'd like um, but that's the main thing you want and so now you can start setting it up if you want to get a quick start on your calculator hit control click dock to add a new page add a calculator uh, that was the default one that was there, but you can add a calculator, you can add a graph, etc., etc. If you want more in-depth tutorials about how to use this calculator, make sure you check out the rest of How to Maths' video library. I've got a bunch of videos on there about using this calculator and I'm adding more as time goes on. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check out the videos, uh, make sure you subscribe as well so you don't miss one and make sure you like this video if you got help getting started with the TI Inspire 6 to CAS calculator on your laptop. Thanks for that. I'll see you in the next one.